Good morning. This is Pastor Tim Wells, pastor of Cross of Christ Lutheran Church in Aurora, Nebraska. This last Sunday, October 31st, was Reformation Day. This last Monday, November 1st, was All Saints Day, All Holy People's Day. This is a day on which we remember all of God's people, both past and present. We'll be observing All Saints Day this coming Sunday. And we have a tradition on that day to list the names and remember the names of those saints, uh, those children of God who died in the last year. In remembering those who've died, our thoughts get directed a bit toward death. And so in a sense, the All Saints Day service becomes kind of like a funeral service. As we remember those who've died, yes, but as we also hear the gospel proclaimed, as we hear the good news that all those who've died in the faith will someday rise from the dead and live again. We haven't seen them for the last time. We're going to see our loved ones who've died in the faith again when we rise to live with Jesus. That's the good news. And so on All Saints Day, yes, we remember those who've died. That's part of it. But we also, more importantly, remember the promises that we have in Christ. So what I wanted to do here this morning is look at another hymn. I'm not going to describe or explain each verse. I think the verses explain themselves. But I wanted to share a hymn that again reminds us of the hope that we have in Christ. So let's hear now the words of, I know that my Redeemer lives. And this is hymn number 461 in our hymnal. I know that my Redeemer lives. What comfort this sweet sentence gives. He lives, he lives, who once was dead. He lives, my ever-living head. He lives triumphant from the grave. He lives eternally to save. He lives all glorious in the sky. He lives exalted there on high. He lives to bless me with his love. He lives to plead for me above. He lives my hungry soul to feed. He lives to help in time of need. He lives to grant me rich supply. He lives to guide me with his eye. He lives to comfort me when faint. He lives to hear my soul's complaint. He lives to silence all my fears. He lives to wipe away my tears. He lives to calm my troubled heart. He lives all blessings to impart. He lives, my kind, wise, heavenly friend. He lives and loves me to the end. He lives, and while he lives, I'll sing. He lives, my prophet, priest, and king. He lives and grants me daily breath. He lives, and I shall conquer death. He lives, my mansion to prepare. He lives to bring me safely there. He lives all glory to his name. He lives my Jesus still the same. Oh, the sweet joy this sentence gives. I know that my Redeemer lives. And because Jesus lives, because he has risen from the dead, we know that we too one day will rise. So as we remember All Saints Day this coming Sunday, as we reflect on uh, those children of God who've died in the past year, and maybe not just in the past years, maybe you are moved to reflect on those loved ones in your life who've died uh, throughout your life. You know, maybe this is a, a loss that you still mourn years later. As you reflect on those losses, Let's also reflect on and remember the promises that we have in Christ. And remember this good news. I know that my Redeemer lives. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your great love for us. 
that through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross, you have forgiven our sins. And through his resurrection from the grave, you have won for us the gift of eternal life. Lord, as we reflect on those loved ones in our lives who have gone before us, who have passed away, we pray, Lord, that you would give us comfort and hope in the midst of our grief. That you would point us to the hope that we have in Christ. And help us, Lord, to receive that good news with joy. In your name we pray. Amen. Pray God's blessings on your day. We'll see you tomorrow. Amen.